on Divorce Court today. Friends since elementary school, Jay and Thomas have been living together for the last three years. She says it's time to give up his dream to become a singer-songwriter, or else it's time for her to go. Jay Jones and Thomas Rosser have brought their dispute for Judge Lynn Toler to resolve. Testimony in divorce court starts now. Ms. Jones, Mr. Rosser, the two of you have a significant history. You've known each other for 20 years. You've been uh, dating for 10. You've been living together for three. Ms. Jones, you have brought him here because you say his uh, pursuit of his career has for all intents and purposes, ended your relationship, and now you want to leave and you need some assistance in so doing, and you, you've come to ask me for that. Uh, Mr. Rosser, you say you do believe that this relationship has run its course, run its course and that she doesn't appreciate what you are bringing to the table. So, Ms. Jones, I'm gonna start with you. Why don't you tell me what has gone so wrong after so long? Um. Thomas and I are uh, in a financial bind, shall I say. Okay. I basically pay for everything. Um, oh, so he's not in a financial bind, you are. <laughs> well, actually, yeah, I'm in the financial bind. I'm the breadwinner. Um, I work long hours to support him. I um, always try to be there for him. Um, I pay mainly, mostly all the bills. I pay mm -hmm. for his studio time, his clothing, uh, his lunchings, his meetings with uh, important people, as she says. Um, I guess I'm just the breadwinner. I'm tired of it. I guess you can say that. Okay. Uh, Mr. Ross, is she accurate about the bills that, uh, that she does pay not. for everything? Why don't you tell me how you say it goes? Well, I mean, Judge, basically, um, it's, it's, we share certain expenses. And, um, there have been times where I, you know, I was at a low point. There have been times where she was at a low point, but, you know, we I've cover each other. Correct. Do you have um, a steady income? Um, right now I do. When you say right now, how long <laughs> is right now? Uh, yeah. Maybe, how long maybe for the past, I don't know, six, seven months. Six or seven months? Yes, is that accurate? He's been contributing the last six or seven when months. When you say contributing, how much are you contributing? Because our bills are not uh, you know, fifty dollars. How much did you bring into the household this past month? I mean, I I paid the cell phone bill, the um yeah. The, um... Right. So she's accurate. She does pay the no, vast no, no, no. majority no, she's of not. bills. No, I'm, I'm, I'm getting to it. I'm getting to it. <laughs> she, I mean... Buying groceries... Hang on, hang on. Let the man finish. He's working on it. Yeah, like, you know, I usually buy groceries, too, then she brought it up. Um, the cell phone bill. Um... You said that. The water bill. Um... It's $40. Department store bill that sh that she accrued. Uh, a credit card. Yes, ma'am. Uh huh. Did he pay the credit card? I, I guess he did. I bought the clothes for him. I mean, it's not like I bought them for myself. Okay. Okay. I, I think I get the picture. I think I get the picture. <laughs> but but uh, that doesn't de de define. Some relationships are like that. I you know. Oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, my, my mother never paid a bill that my father didn't bring her the money for because he was the primary breadwinner and he was, you know, she was at home. So... He, he was being a man. Yeah. I know a lot of women who are primary breadwinners. A lot oh, of them. Yeah. A lot of them. I Whee! think... <laughs> 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 I gotta, you, you so, right. there must be something else missing or wrong. I mean, I guess I can say that um, he's into, you know, the industry, shall I say, so he's trying to pursue his, you know, business, I mean, his music, um, shall I say. And I used to support him more so than I do now, but mainly now I have to work more to support the bills. I have a five-year-old daughter, right. so the bills have to be paid. I can't... Ms. Jones, right you're him. still talking about that. I understand that you pay the majority of the oh. bills and that you work a lot. That's okay with people. I mean, I know a lot of families who one person does that, but they're okay with it. Something else must be wrong. There's no quality time. Not like how it used to be. Like, I used to be able to come to the studio and, you know, witness, you know, what he's actually doing. Or, you know, the days that he will have a show, I would be told in advance about the shows. I wouldn't be told, like head on day of the day of the shows. Um, a lot of shows that he does are for, you know, to get his 
music out there, therefore mm -hmm. no free. Money. Yeah, shall you say. That's not true. Do you get paid for your gigs? I do. Yeah? I mean, at first, I didn't. This was back, back in like 2012, 2011. Mm -hmm. You know, I was getting the name out for myself. Um, but now I do get paid shows. I mean, she may I, not. She... I, I get that. I don't want to talk about money anymore. I really don't. That's the issue. Yeah. That's the only issue? You mean to no. tell me? With, with, with no, no, name. hang on, hang on, hang on. You mean to tell me that if he made more money, you'd be fine? You wouldn't be here? Money is a big issue. OK. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And if you don't like, you know, supporting him, I love him. And I feel like um, I've been there so long that it's kind of like, you know, you put, you, you know how you invest in something? Mm -hmm. And you kind of want to see where it goes or what your outcome is going to be? Mm -hmm. I guess that's where I'm at right now. It's like I invested so much and I've been patient. I've done the good girl role. I've so been there. So what is it you've been patient for? What it is it, are you, you looking to get married is what you're telling me. Yes. And he don't want to marry you. Well, we've been together long enough. I haven't gotten a ring or asked. Um... Mr. Rosser, why don't you tell me what you believe, other than the money, the primary problem in the relationship you have with her? Well, my, my biggest um, concern, Judge, is that um, she's insecure. Um, the, the relationship was, like, slowly declining um, due to different insecurities that she has. Um... Give me a story. Well, about that demonstrates her insecurities. Well, I work with a lot of female artists. Mm -hmm. I write mm -hmm. for a lot of female artists. And, um, you know, we, we usually do spend long hours in the studio because that's, that's what the, the industry calls for. Um, she feels that is something going on there because she wants me to devote all my time to um, the house. But, you know, like, like I'm, I'm, I know I'm in a mind frame right now where, like, I kind of have tunnel vision. Um, she knew what my aspirations mm -hmm. were before we um, moved in. Even when we, you know, were, were dating, she always knew that knew I was Knew what you were about. Exactly. And that you were, you, you, you had a, a, had a path that you were on and you were, you were focused on that path and that was your primary interest. Is yes, that accurate? Mm -hmm. Ms. Jones, you're upset. Yes, I'm very upset. Very upset. Why don't... I... Tell him right now what it is you're feeling and what it is you want from him. Because I can't, I, I can't quite find it. These studio times and these times that you're, you know, with your female friends, or shall I say these females that you're writing for, you take them out on luncheons. One incident, I, we went to um, a friend of mine, we were out mm -hmm. in the same spot that he was out, and he was having a luncheon with the same female friend that he was in the studio recording with, which was, you know, cool. And I didn't introduce myself to her when I met her the first time. This time, he kind of hesitated when I walked up on him to introduce me to her, as if it was something between them. Next, what secret did Thomas try to hide that came to light only because Jay has a severe allergy to latex? Your mama warned you not to marry your mate. If she was right and divorce is your best option, call toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or visit our website at divorcecourt.com. Become a fan at facebook.com slash divorcecourt. Real people, real conflict, real judgment. Divorce Court continues. So, Ms. Jones, explain to me about this woman. Last time I saw her, we were at the studio, and I was not introduced to her. Mm -hmm. All I did was saw her in passing. The next time that I saw the same it's woman with him, oh, he hesitated you. to introduce me to her as I walked up on them at the same restaurant that we always go to, which was kind of odd to me because they were sitting in a corner. They weren't out visibly being seen or anything like that. There was this one time uh, Thomas and I had, you know, intercourse or whatever, and I'm highly allergic to, allergic to latex, so. I ended up going to the doctor, and it was a minor situation, but I hadn't had this situation. And last time I had the situation was when I found out I was allergic to, to latex. To latex. Exactly. So, so you believe he was exposed to latex exactly. and exposed you to exactly. latex. And exactly. the one way to get exposed to latex in that circumstance is use a condom with another woman. Mr. Exactly. Rosser, your response. I want to let you know that during the course of this whole 10-year period that, you know, we were on and off dating, this was during that time. So you so, weren't living together then. So we weren't. We weren't living. We were not living together at that time. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. But 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 since we've been under one roof, you know, there there was no. 
cheating on my behalf. I can't speak for her. But I, Mr. Mr. You Roster, know. you tell me how you feel about this relationship. I mean, why are you unhappy with her? I'm unhappy with her because, I, I mean... Not insecure. I'm not insecure. Here, let, let me it's help. It's not let, even... It, it has nothing to do with me, the insecurity. It's just I'm her not as insecure. a person. I have signs. For me. I, Hang I, on. I no, no, let the man speak. He's, you know, he's not a very verbal guy. He's not... He's not voluble. He's, he, he, he has a difficult... <laughs> and no, no, but there's, not, there's nothing wrong with it. My, my husband's saying, wait, I can get ten words out of him in a day, I'm happy. I'm gonna give you some time to get it together and say what you need to say about what you feel about the nature of your relationship that makes you want to go. I think it's his image. I think he's trying to withhold his image. I mean, to be honest, I'm, I'm just gonna keep it real. I mean, I, I, think, I think I've lost interest. So. Had you heard that before, Ms. No. Jenner? When Divorce Court continues, did the paternity question drive Thomas out of this relationship? Do you think this couple can stop arguing and patch up their relationship? Call 1-800-282-1991 to vote now and see if America agrees with your opinion. You'll also receive some valuable offers. Call now, 1-800-282-1991. If you would like your case heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com and join the conversation on Twitter at Divorce Court. Divorce Court continues. Ms. Jones, I was trying to give Mr. Rosser an opportunity to speak how he feels and to speak his mind. I think he's unable to do that. I, I don't know why. It might be because he's afraid to hurt you. Uh, it might be because uh, he's comfortable in the economic situation that he's in. And, in, and if he expressed his real uh, feelings that, that ec the economics of the situation would change, I don't know what, or maybe some guys would just have a hard time putting their thoughts or feelings into words. So what I'm going to do is tell you what he said because she has a right to know. She really, really does. She's putting money and time and in investing in a relationship that is not going to happen. He said, I admit I have been distant and, that, and that's because I've lost interest. Five years ago, I thought her child was mine until she revealed it wasn't. That's a problem. She said, you can't just be in a stagnant relationship, and if it's heading that way, no one will put any effort to repair it. I think that's what's happened with both of us. So I said, whatever. Now I'm good, and I want to move on. It is clear we are both on different paths, and the thrill is gone. When you are just doing it in vain, I don't want to live, do anything in my life in vain anymore. If that's not a goodbye letter, I don't know what is. I've never heard him say that. Like, I've never, like, I've never, like, we used to be best friends. Anything we could talk about, we could talk about. Now, we don't talk about anything. If we do, it's a hey and a bye, like you said, five words out of a day. And that, that has not always been the case. Now, my daughter, we were at an off and on point. He, you know, I told him that she may not be his, but he's always been there. Right. Lately, it's more like, you know, that's my stepdaughter, or that's her daughter, or, you know, we're not doing any things, or, you know, it's like, to me, it's like, it's something else. There's someone else. There's got to be something else, because how I did just you... told you but... what that something was. Yeah, but... I just, I, I, it was very specific and very clear. What did you not hear? I guess I'm not hearing it. How could you just not want somebody that's, that's doing the most for you? Oh, Ms. Jones, here, 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 here's, here's, that's something a lot of women say. I'm here for you. I'm doing everything for you. I can't believe you don't want me. People have the right to want who they want, even if who they want isn't you. And no matter how much you do for a person, if he's not invested in a relationship with you, the amount of things he, you do for him is, has no meaning. Do you can understand? I, can I say something? So, I feel... I, <laughs> um, I also admit... Forgot to mention that, you know, she's she's the type of person, Shay, not she, she uh, is the type of person to try to, like, you know, throw up in your face, 
as far as like what she did, you mm -hmm. know, knowing that, you know, it, it's, you know, my situation or whatever like that. So, d I mean, it kind of hurt too, mm -hmm. you know, knowing- Mr. Rosser, here, I want, I want both of you to hear me. I'm not saying you're a bad guy. I'm not saying that at all, unless you're, sta you, you're not mentioning the fact that there is no future and, and I don't really interested in you because you want her to continue to support her, support you despite the fact that you were not into her. She doesn't support me. Well, yes, she does. I do support her. That's yes, what she, she told you. I no. might not be able to make it to well, That's what you told me. Because when I asked you how many bills you paid, you, 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 you didn't pay any major bills. Exactly. You told me that, okay? You told me. If I listened to nothing she said, you told me that. So if that's your if that's your position, that's your bad. That makes you a bad person. That makes you a user. That makes you someone who is <laughs> who is allowing a person for whom he has no interest to support you, and you give her the vague notion that you st that you're still in it, and that's just wrong. That's just wrong if that's what you're doing. It may not be what you're doing. What you may be doing is you don't know how to tell her it's over. You may not know how to tell her you're not interested. You may not know, uh, you may not be comfortable with it. But what I'm saying to you is, people have a right to be with who they want to be, even if it isn't you. And what you have to do is not ask, why can't he love me? It's like, how far is the door? Let me pack my stuff and find a dude that does. You, you see what I'm saying? Judge Lynn Toller's ruling next. Divorce Court. Judge Lynn Toller's ruling right now. Say what you were going to say. I think it's just because I've known him for so long. You know how you just get set in your ways. And it, I mean, I'm young. So, you know, I mean, like, I still have a lot of time to, you know, if I needed to, if I wanted to. I guess I'm just. You need to. I know you don't want to, but you need to. My mother also used to tell me all the time, never make a man tell you he doesn't want you more than once. He's told you in 90 different ways that he doesn't want you. When he doesn't come home, when he doesn't talk to you, when he doesn't share like he used to, when he, you know, I mean, that's saying I don't want you. And that doesn't have anything to do with your value as a person, and it doesn't make him a bad guy unless he's losing you for your cash. I'm not using him. Well, I don't know. I'm just saying. I'm not. Okay, fine. But what I'm telling you, Ms. Jones, is you need to step. You Women, often, we've invested so much time and money in a guy, we just can't... We, we, we can't cut our losses and go. But it never gets better. You can't, you, you know... Never beg anybody to love you. It never works. Never beg anybody to love you. You've got your money. You've got your, your, your future. You've got a career. You've got, you're going to be a dental assistant. This you do not need. You need love and care. <laughs> now, you asked me for transitional support, and I really wish you hadn't mentioned that, because you can't get transitional for support from a guy you've been supporting. <laughs> It doesn't work that way. I wish it did. You know, you want, you know, want months for this, that, the other. That's not how it works. I think the law needs to change a little bit because I think I've found these days a lot of women are been in the circumstance where they're supporting economically, doing all the cooking and cleaning and everything, and then end up giving, giving support to the other right. person who was contributing nothing. But the support was to recognize that you were taking care of home while he was taking care of money, and sometimes you're taking care of everything, so the law has not quite made that shift, so I certainly wouldn't take anything from you, but I can't give anything to you except my advice to roll, bounce, jump. <laughs> if you were my daughter, we'd be on the floor <laughs> wrestling right now. I'd, 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 have to, I'd be just a beating you on the head with this, <laughs> with this gavel. Girl, have you lost your mind? <laughs> Don't be with a man that doesn't want you. You're beautiful, you're smart, you can find one that will. Just don't sell yourself that short. Don't, okay? There will be no recovery in this matter. It is so ordered. Jay and Thomas have taken the judge's ruling to heart and have moved on. Post a comment or submit your case at divorcecourt.com or call toll-free 1-877-311-2222. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter at Divorce Court.